This week in 1963, a huge rally took place in Washington to call for an end to racial segregation in the United States. Fifty years on, Americans reflect on this historic moment when Martin Luther King gave his famous I Have a Dream speech. Eleanor Holmes Norton, who is now a member of Congress, reflected on how 50 <laughs> years ago she was just a young protester. At the time, racial segregation was the law in many southern U.S. states. We had spent 10 years in demonstrations that had swept through every single southern state. There was really no place else to go. We needed remedies. There were no remedies in the south. There was only resistance. 50 years after the march on Washington, uh, African Americans still have a significant way to go to achieve true equality in this country. Unemployment, education, housing, the major issues that seem to face black people in minority communities around the world, whether it be Europe, whether it be Latin America, these problems also plague African Americans. For many of those who came to commemorate the historic rally, Discrimination against African Americans is symbolized by the high profile shooting last year of teenager Trayvon Martin and the fact that his killer was acquitted. 50 years later, that you can gun down and shoot a black unarmed man on the street and get, a, get off. Is that an injustice or what? Today, Martin Luther King's dream may still be some way from being realized, but those commemorating the 1963 rally find themselves in a radically different society to that of 50 years ago. We talk about CCTV.